Hi, I'm Sam Buckle and I'm the chair of the Women in RACHP Steering Group, which is part of the Institute of Refrigeration. RACHP stands for the following, refrigeration, air conditioning and heat pumps. Our steering group aims to help women in the refrigeration industry develop their careers through education, mentoring and networking, but also our aim is to encourage new entrants into our industry. Welcome to the fantastic fridges called the school competition. You may never heard of it before, but the refrigeration industry is a really cool area to work. There are over 40,000 people and 15,000 companies already working in it. Did you know that about 18% of the UK's electricity is used to cool something? Not just food in your fridge, but food in supermarkets, people in buildings, equipment in places like data centres, communication systems and factories. Here at the Institute of Refrigeration, we are launching, launching our Call for School competition to raise awareness of how refrigeration impacts on all of our lives. And we are offering some cool prizes for schools who come up with the best ideas. Do you want to get involved? All you have to do is get together a team of three students, investigate some cool science in your school or science club and send us your results as a short video. We are asking key stage three students 11 to 14 year olds to enter via the Institute of Refrigeration education website, which is www.fantasticfridges.com. Our website contains all the information you need to find out more about refrigeration and air conditioning, plus lots of free resources and experiments you can do in your STEM clubs. There are some great prizes to be won, with the top prize of a kit of fun science equipment valued at £2,000 for your school. There will also be smaller kits available for two runners up and an innovative entry award at £1,000 each. Student groups of up to three are asked to enter. The video should be no longer than five minutes and don't forget to fill out the submission questionnaire. You'll need to enter via your school. Full details and terms and conditions can be found at www.fantasticfridges.com. Thanks. Hello, I'm Mr Vandenberg, science teacher at St Paul's Catholic College. We have a really active STEM club in St Paul's and we're always looking for great challenges to give our pupils a wider perspective of science in the real world and where STEM can take you. We feel this is a great initiative um, from the Institute of Refrigeration to raise awareness for the career opportunities for this profession and their great learning and careers website, Fantastic Fridges. The refrigeration industry certainly has a lot to offer. I was particularly interested to find out that there are so many different types of job. It's not just about en engineering, it's about administration, sales, chemistry or design. Refrigeration seems to be one of those areas that uses so many different skills uh, in a really practical way. So first, let me tell you what the competition involves. We've divided our science class into teams of three students and encouraged them to find out about what aspects of refrigeration they wanted to talk about in their video. Some of them were looking at the history, some of, the, some of them the economic activity, and others on the physical and chemical processes that take place. The competition has been really useful for giving our students the chance to think more about refrigeration, the science of solids, liquids and gases, and how refrigeration helps in our daily lives in both heating and cooling. It's enabled students to think creatively, problem solve and communicate effectively, as well as find out about careers in the area that they maybe have never considered. So I'm going to hand you over to our students to tell you more about how they've been getting involved. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm Emily. Welcome to our Call for School competition video entry. We have worked together and researched an experiment showing how we can freeze water around a string without putting it in the freezer to show how freezing points of different materials can be changed. We wanted to do this because it was a really simple experiment that, sh that shows an unexpected result, making ice stick to a piece of string. We asked our science teacher, Mr. Vandenberg, if we could enter. He visited www.fantasticfridges.com and filled out the application form. He then asked us to visit the website and research refrigeration, where and why it's used, and think of what we wanted to cover in our video. We decided to do an experiment because it would look good on the video, and we could do, and we could do it with equipment that was available in school. We could have done something more around research or presenting a report on, on an area of refrigeration, 
but we really like doing practical work. When we were preparing for this experiment, we researched melting and freezing points of different materials, how and why states of matter change, and what you can do to influence this. We looked at the pages on states of matter on the Fantastic Fridges website and tried some of the interactive games. We were really influenced by the information there was about, refriger about how refrigerations work by expansion and contraction in, in a mechanical circuit and thought it would be fun to try and show how you can change water from liquid to solid without using a fridge. I never thought before that refrigeration would be interesting, but now we have looked into it and seen a career profiles on the Fantastic Fridges website of a girl who is a chemical engineer and works in refrigeration. I'm thinking about finding out more about how I could study that at university. So back to the video. We came up with the idea to video experiment and talked it through at school. We titled the experiment, we selected as the ice experiment. We practiced it once, once earlier today and filmed this during our lunch break. Step one, put the ice in the water like we already have here. Step two, to demonstrate that this experiment won't work without the salt, we will put the string over the ice. Step three, lay the string over the ice, making sure the string is making contact with the surface of the ice. Step four, Sprinkle some salt over the string and surface of the ice. Again, making sure the string is in contact with the ice. Step five, wait a few minutes. While we're waiting, we're going to tell you the science. The salt lowers the freezing point of the water to below zero degrees Celsius. When added to the ice, the melting point of the ice is lowered. It's only a sprinkle of salt added, so the ice melts around the string. The water then cools down further and freezes around the string. Did you know that before there were fridges at home, they made tons and tons of ice in a factory and then had to deliver it all around the country? That was the only way for people could keep food fresh and cold. We got our ice for this experiment from the kitchen. So, now we're going to lift the string out of the water and see if the ice is stuck to it. Good luck with coming up for an idea for your video. It can be a presentation or an experiment. And don't forget to fill in the submission form.